Hi, I'm Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com, Thursday, October the 6th in the afternoon. Uh, looking here at Silvernail, this is the SLV. This is the exchange traded fund uh, that you can trade silver with. And um, you can see that we had a nice uptrend going here, and then several weeks ago we lost it in, uh, in a big crash here, uh, slicing through all the key moving averages here on this weekly chart, and we're down here below them. Uh, so on a weekly basis, uh, not looking good. Perhaps we're putting in a bottom here. Hit Goslow's 27.41 here. Uh, we're now coming up up 7.44 percent this week so far, and uh, looks like we may be coming up to test this rapidly falling uh, four-week moving average, this red line. Uh, so let's go to a daily chart and see what uh, what the action is. All right, so drilling down now to a daily chart, um, we can see the big drop, um, the fallout here, taking out all the key moving averages. Um, and uh, we can see the 2741 um, low here that we put in on the daily chart uh, two weeks ago now. Then we rallied back up hard, got to 3261, and then fell back here. Did not take out this low. And uh, so we got a lower, I'm, I'm sorry, a higher low, uh, which is actually a good sign. And uh, now we rallied up, taking out this little bit of consolidation here today and getting up above it. Uh, today we're up 4.86% so far. And uh, we got up above this uh, gray solid line here, which is the 10-day moving average. So uh, looks like we have a little bit of a breakout here on the daily chart. Um, I don't really see a pattern um, uh, of higher highs yet. If we take out 32.61, we'll have a higher high here. So um, right now, sort of uh, calling this a sideways action with uh, a bit of upside momentum. Now, if indeed uh, this is a, a real a powerful breakout here, uh, we will go up and try and test this uh, red line, which is the 21-day moving average, which is right now at 34.64, but falling very rapidly. Uh, volume is not particularly heavy today, so it uh, lacks a lot of conviction on the breakout, but uh, still got about another half hour of trading. We'll see what happens there. And looking now at a 60-minute chart, each one of these bars represents an hour worth of trading time. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have a nice rally going here, and uh, broke up, uh, uh, came up off uh, 2790, has been headed straight up ever since. Uh, looks like it wants to go up here and test this um, this uh, uh, green uh, dotted line, which would be the 100-hour line. Um, uh, more of your short-term traders watch this kind of chart, but it's good to know the direction. Of, uh, of your uh, uh, ETF uh, by watching this chart. And the direction is up right now. Uh, we clearly broke this sort of down sloping uh, trend it had going. Uh, we're now arguably in a nice uptrend here. We've had about a uh, 9 or 10 percent move up off the bottom, which is, uh, which is a lot. This, this stock, uh, our ETF, is extended. I'd like to see a pullback and come down here and test uh, uh, in this area here, in the $30 um, dollar area here, uh, before committing any money to this. Uh, your risk is just much too great coming back all the way down here to 2790. So um, uptrend on the 60-minute chart, um, uh, been a solid move up, a bit risky trading off of this chart here. Um, I would wait for a pullback and see where it takes us and then uh, try to catch the next wave up if we indeed get that. So there you go for silver.